Session 30 Origins and Related Words 1. Brothers and Sisters, Wives and Husbands Frater, Brother, Sorer, Sister, Uxer, Wife, and Maritis, Husband, these roots are the source of a number of additional English words, 1. To fraternize, etymologically, to have a brotherly relationship, with. This verb may be used to indicate social intercourse between people, irrespective of sex, as in, members of the faculty often fraternized after school hours. Additionally, and perhaps more commonly, there may be the implication of having a social relationship with one's subordinates in an organization, or even with one's so-called inferiors, as in, the president of the college was reluctant to fraternize with faculty members, preferring to keep all her contacts with them on an exclusively professional basis, or as in, the artist enjoyed fraternizing with thieves, drug addicts, prostitutes, and pimps, partly out of social perversity, partly to find interesting faces to put in his paintings. The verb also gained a new meaning during and after World War II, when soldiers of occupying armies had sexual relations with the women of conquered countries, as in, military personnel were strictly forbidden to fraternize with the enemy. How euphemistic can you get? Can you write the noun form of fraternize? Underscore 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 underscore. 6. Uxorial, pertaining to, characteristic of, or befitting, a wife, as uxorial duties, privileges, attitudes, etc. 7. Marital, etymologically, pertaining or referring to, or characteristic of, a husband, but the meaning has changed to include the marriage relationship of both husband and wife. Don't ever let anyone tell you that our language is not sexist, as marital duties, obligations, privileges, arguments, etc. Hence extramarital is literally outside the marriage, as in extramarital affairs, hanky-panky, with someone other than one's spouse. And premarital, Latin prefix pre-dash, before, describes events that occur before a planned marriage, as premarital sex, a premarital agreement as to the division of property, etc. 2. Of cabbages and kings, without the cabbage, rex, regis is Latin for king. Tyrannosaurus rex was the king, i.e., the largest, of the dinosaurs, etymologically, king of the tyrant lizards. Dogs are often named rex, to fool them into thinking they are kings, rather than slaves. And regal is royal, or fit for a king, hence magnificent, stately, imperious, splendid, etc., as in regal bearing or manner, a regal mansion, a regal reception, etc. The noun is regality. Regalia, a plural noun, designated the emblems or insignia or dress of a king, and now refers to any impressively formal clothes, or, more commonly, to the decorations, insignia, or uniform of a rank, position, office, social club, etc. The Shriners were dressed in full regalia, the five-star general appeared in full regalia, etc. 3. Madness of all sorts, the monomaniac, develops an abnormal obsession in respect to one particular thing, Greek monos, one, but is otherwise normal. The obsession itself, or the obsessiveness, is monomania, the adjective is monomaniacal. Monomaniacal, like the adjective forms of various other manias, is tricky to pronounce, practice carefully to make sure you can say it correctly without stuttering. Psychology recognizes other abnormal states, all designating obsessions, and built on Greek mania, madness. 1. Dipsomania, morbid compulsion to keep on absorbing alcoholic beverages, Greek dipsa, thirst. The dipsomaniac has been defined as the person for whom one drink is too many, a thousand not enough. Recent investigations suggest that dipsomania, or alcoholism, may not necessarily be caused by anxieties or frustrations but possibly by a metabolic or physiological disorder. Adjective, dipsomaniacal. 2. Kleptomania, morbid compulsion to steal, not from any economic motive, but simply because the urge to take another's possessions is irresistible. The kleptomaniac, Greek klept, thief, may be wealthy, and yet be an obsessive shoplifter. The kleptomaniac, for reasons that psychologists are still arguing about, is more often a female than a male and may pinch her best friend's valueless trinket, or a cheap ashtray or salt shaker from a restaurant, 
not because she wants, let alone needs, the article, but because she apparently can't help herself, she gets carried away. When she arrives home, she may toss it in a drawer with other loot, and never look at it again. Can you write, and correctly pronounce, the adjective? 3. Pyromania, morbid compulsion, to set fires. Pyromania should not be confused with incendiarism, which is the malicious and deliberate burning of another's property, and is not a compulsive need to see the flames and enjoy the thrill of the heat and the smoke. Some pyromaniacs join volunteer fire companies, often heroically putting out the very blazes they themselves have set. An incendiary is antisocial, and usually sets fires for revenge. Either of these two dangerous characters is called, colloquially, a firebug. In law, setting fire to another's or to one's own property for the purpose of economic gain, such as the collection of the proceeds of an insurance policy, is called arson and is a felony. The pyromaniac sets fire for the thrill, the incendiary for revenge, the arsonist for money. Pyromania is built on Greek pyros, fire, incendiarism on Latin incendo, incensus, to set fire, arson on Latin ardo, arsis, to burn. Can you write, and pronounce, the adjective form of pyromaniac? Underscore 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 underscore. 4. Megalomania, morbid delusions of grandeur, power, importance, godliness, etc. Jokes accusing the heads of governments of megalomania are common. Here's an old chestnut from the 40s, Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin were talking about their dreams. Churchill, I dreamed last night that God had made me prime minister of the whole world. Roosevelt, I dreamed that God had made me president of the whole world. Stalin, how could you gentlemen have such dreams? I didn't dream of offering you those positions. Hitler, Napoleon, and Alexander the Great have been called megalomaniacs, all three certainly had delusions about their invincibility. Can you write, and pronounce correctly, the adjective derived from megalomaniac? Underscore 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 underscore. Megalomania is built on Greek megas, great, big, large, plus mania. Can you think of the word for what someone speaks through to make the sound, phone, of his voice greater? Underscore 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 underscore. 5. Nymphomania, morbid, incessant, uncontrollable, and intense desire, on the part of a female, for sexual intercourse, from Greek nymphy, bride, plus mania. The person? Underscore 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 underscore. The adjective? Underscore 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 underscore. 6. Satyromania, the same morbid, incessant, etc. desire on the part of a male from Greek satyros, satyr, plus mania. The person? Underscore 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 underscore. The adjective? Underscore 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 underscore. A satyr was a mythological Greek god, notorious for lechery. He had horns, pointed ears, and the legs of a goat, the rest of him was in human form. Satyromania is also called satyriasis. 4. And now phobias so much for maniacs. There is another side to the coin. Just as personality disorders can cause morbid attraction towards certain things or acts, stealing, fire, power, sex, etc., so also other emotional ills can cause violent or morbid repulsions to certain conditions, things, or situations. There are people who have a rational and deep-seated dread of cats, dogs, fire, the number 13, snakes, thunder or lightning, various colors, 
and so on almost without end, such morbid dread or fear is called, in the language of psychology, a phobia, and we might pause to investigate the three most common ones. These are, 1. Claustrophobia, morbid dread of being physically hemmed in, of enclosed spaces, of crowds, etc. From Latin claustrum, enclosed place, plus Greek phobia, morbid fear. The person, claustrophobe. Adjective, claustrophobic. 2. Agoraphobia, morbid dread of open space, the reverse of claustrophobia. People suffering from agoraphobia prefer to stay shut in their homes as much as possible and become panic-stricken in such places as open fields, large public buildings, airport terminals, etc. From Greek agora, marketplace, plus phobia. The person? Underscore 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 The adjective? Underscore 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 3. Acrophobia, morbid dread of high places. The victims of this fear will not climb ladders or trees or stand on tops of furniture. They refuse to go onto the roof of a building or look out the window of one of the higher floors. From Greek akros, highest, plus phobia. The person? Underscore 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 underscore. The adjective? Underscore 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 underscore. These are, 1. Claustrophobia, morbid dread of being physically hemmed in, of enclosed spaces, of crowds, etc. From Latin claustrum, enclosed place, plus Greek phobia, morbid fear. The person, claustrophobe. Adjective, claustrophobic. 2. Agoraphobia, morbid dread of open space, the reverse of claustrophobia. People suffering from agoraphobia prefer to stay shut in their homes as much as possible and become panic-stricken in such places as open fields, large public buildings, airport terminals, etc. From Greek agora, marketplace, plus phobia. The person? The adjective? 3. Acrophobia, morbid dread of high places. The victims of this fear will not climb ladders or trees, or stand on tops of furniture. They refuse to go onto the roof of a building or look out the window of one of the higher floors. From Greek akros, highest, plus phobia. The person? The adjective? Review of etymology prefix, root, suffix meaning one. Frater, fratris brother two. Sorrow sister, three. Uxer wife, four. Maritis husband, five. Rex, regis king, six. Mania Madness 7. Mottos 1 8. AC noun suffix, 1 who 9. Al adjective suffix 10. Dips a thirst 11. Clept thief 12. Pyros fire 13. Incendo, incensus, to set fire 14. Ardo, arsis, to burn 15. Mega great, large, big 16. Phone sound 17. Satyro Satyr 18. Nymphy Bride 19. Claustrum Enclosed Place 20. Agora Market Place 21. Akros Highest 22. Icy Adjective Suffix 23. Phobia Morbid Dread 24. Pre Before 25. Extra Outside.